everyone. I'm at the Biological Orchard Garden on the UC Davis campus and I'm in the um, the orchard portion of it and you could also see some lupins blooming and what I wanted to discuss is a question I've been getting a lot uh, right now which I get a lot of every spring is what is going on with my peach? What is going on with my nectarine? When you have leaves like this that are red and blistering and distorted on your peaches or nectarines, that is peach leaf curl. And this is a fungus, uh, Tafrina deformans. And sadly, there is no control right now for it. The control is when the tree drops its leaves in the fall and before the flower buds break in the spring. And that is when you spray uh, liquid copper, which is a fungicide. And ideally, you spray it at least three times, um, but it depends on the weather. Sometimes with a really wet winter, it's hard to get three sprays in because, of course, you want to spray it when it's dry out. If you could get one spray in, that's great. I usually tell people to think Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day, but of course, here in Zone 9, our trees were uh, blooming before Valentine's Day. So as long as the before the buds break, spray liquid copper, spray the trunk, spray everything so it's dripping off of the tree. Because what happens is once the tree gets the uh, spores on it, they'll overwinter on the bark and the buds. And when we have a wet spring, or even a mildly wet spring, um, they will grow and then it'll cause the, the leaves to distort. And so right now, if your tree has it and you notice leaves falling, pick those up. You're, if it's a bad infestation, you may lose a lot of leaves. And in that case, make sure you rake them all up. Now, if your tree defoliates completely or a good amount, give it a nitrogen fertilizer like a 20-10-10 or a 25-5 to help it replenish the nitrogen because it's gonna have to put out a second flush of leaves. Usually the second flush isn't gonna have it because by then it's dried out, the weather's dry and the spores won't have um, spread and opened up. But once your tree has it, there are there are spores on it, so you need to do it every year. Yes, a tree can produce fruit and the fruit could be just fine. If it's a bad infestation, you may not get fruit and, and or it may be distorted or red. Um, this is not a bad infestation at all. Um, I did spray the trees, but I've only, I only sprayed these trees once. Um, we got a late rain. We had a pretty dry winter, but it was a little bit wetter in um, March. So this isn't bad at all. The tree will be just fine. Now remember, aphids can mimic this, but you won't have the red and you won't have this very distinct blistering. That will be more of a curl. Now, if you say, oh, I have that on my um, plum, probably aphids, because remember, this is specific to peaches and nectarines. And remember, a nectarine is just a, a bald peach. And I do believe almonds could get them as well. So you could see a little pustule starting right there, but not bad at all. So that's peach leaf curl. Uh, I'll post this. So I will make everyone go to this link and watch it so I don't have to repeat my answers. Thanks. Bye.